So I'm going to be making a homemade speaker uh, out of a, a, this plastic pipe uh, section, uh, electrical tape, and painter's tape. We're not going to be using the actual tape in the painter's tape. This big bin and some alligator clips. This is very simple to make a speaker, and it might not be realized by some people. First of all, I'm using the painter's tape because I've noticed that this speaker is a direct fit. Uh, first of all, our first step will be to connect the alligator clips whites to the minus and our red one to the plus. I like to connect them sideways like this because they don't come off. Now we're going to get our painter's tape roll and get the other side, sorry, the other side of the paint, the uh, alligator clips and stuff it through here. I keep bumping you guys. Uh, don't worry. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a beginner on my YouTube channel, so don't worry if you get bumped. Uh, you got that speaker in. Now what we're gonna do is, I forgot a part, we're gonna also be using this grill from a toy. Uh, now what we're gonna be doing is getting our plastic pipe and this is the cool part. We're going to be sticking that, our alligator clips, in like this. And you see that just fits right on top. Now what we're going to do is lift it up, and you see they're coming out. We're going to pull them pretty hard to make a good seal. Okay, first, actually, before we seal it up. We're gonna put the grill on. It basically, the speaker is actually just the right size for the grill and it just basically fits. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these wires and pull them down like this really far. We're gonna get this bin and this just fits on like that. And you see the bottom part of the bin is bigger, so we're gonna just push that in and you actually create a good seal. Now what we're gonna do is take our grill off. You can see the speaker's a little bit wonky and crooked, but that'll be fixed once we do our last uh, step. Which will include our electrical tape roll. We're going to take electrical tape and my hands are strong so I can pull them so I can pull the electrical tape off like that. We're going to do this, and now our speaker's totally in line, it's not like going off and being all, you know, weird. And the electrical tape sometimes comes off. Uh, now what we're going to do is if we want a better sound, gosh, that electrical tape. You know what? I'll be back in a second. Here I am. Uh, back. Uh, now what we're going to do is poke a few holes in the electrical tape just to create a better clarity and make it look like it's an actual grill and kind of hide that the electrical tape's there a little bit. This will take a little bit of a while, just seeing what I'm doing, right?
Okay, it's done. Now, uh, I'm gonna unhook uh, the big woofer and hook this big and hook this little speaker up.